Round two, category number one. Ethnic groups in kingdoms of Africa. Are existing ethnic groups and tribes which are different from nationality. For example, there are the Congo people, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's Congo. Angola, for example, doesn't have Angolan people, it has or an Angolan tribe, it has the Congo tribe, the Manchu tribe, the Arabo tribe, etc. If you're unhappy about this, thank a European. <laughs> For kingdoms, we will take any pre-colonial major kingdoms, ignore the terms kingdom of, empire of, and sultanate of. And this is for the entirety of Africa, from northern Africa all the way down to the city. All right. Category number two. Tony Award nominees for best uh, music. And all the theater kids cheer. <laughs> Every year, but winners do count as nominees as they had to get nominated to win in the first place. <laughs> the Tony Awards were from 1947 to present, so we're thinking about late 20th century, early 21st century musicals such as Hamilton. And that was the only one most of you know. <laughs> Alright, third, films. Films preserved by the Library of Congress. For the United States Library of Congress, sorry, Canada, United States Library of Congress preserves films showing the range and diversity of American heritage. Now, I know you know, you think that means art films and documentaries like Into the Arms of Strangers, Stories of the Kinder Transport. But if, while that is true and an acceptable answer, really the answer is films that have had a major mark on American culture. So think about films that you would be shocked to see that no one had ever heard of, like Jailhouse Rock, not exactly the most art house of films, or What's Opera Doc? <laughs> which have been preserved by the Library of Congress. Just as a note, there may be some overlap between this and the Tony Award musical winners. If that's the case, it is acceptable to answer the same answer in multiple columns. For the same Peter, cat, kids are even happier. All right, your fourth category. Top 100 English language magazines by circulation. As of 2018, these magazines still in print. Just no, they're in print, still in print. Who knew? And then we have the... Yeah, sheets are coming out. So your fifth sheet dry numbers.
Good luck. Static screening. Thirty seconds. Whew. 
and I just got my change. Don't laugh too hard. Just got my change. <laughs> hey, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Which was based on a movie. 
Uh, so you could say that the SpongeBob musical wasn't a cash grab, but was actually kind of well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T, we have Titanic, Twisty, Tommy, or the movie Tommy, and the 25th annual Monkey County Spellers. Dad, those noises off now. All right, ready for films preserved by the Library of Congress? Of course you're not, but it includes E.T. Fantasia, Fargo, Fast Times, you look fucked up. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Alright, cool. Part 2 includes Forbidden Planet and Forest of Dust. Alright, ready for N? That included Naked City, Nashville, National Lampoon's Animal House. Network. The next slide has a bunch of knights on it. Night of the Opera, Night of the Hunter, Night of the Living Dead, Night of the Northwest, the Night of the Wrestler. The original in the West. Yes, I've got four slides of these. I'm going to go fast here. Sabrina, Saving oh, yeah, Last, yeah. Saturday Night Fever, Schindler's List, and Saving Private Ryan. Also includes the Searcher, the Shawshank Redemption, the Shining, and Sherlock Jr. Silence the Lamb, Singing in the Rain, Sound of Music from the Musical, also includes Star Wars and Superman. Maybe there was a Superman reference earlier. And Steamboat Willie. All right, T, again, four pages of these includes Taxi Driver, the 15th coming up, sorry, the 10th coming up. <laughs> Final Tap, The Thing from Outer Space, which John Carpenter remade in the thing. Titanic, Toy Story, and Hill Ockenberg. Oh my God. Also includes Treasure of the Sierra Madre. stories during the 2016 election, mostly designed to get liberals to click on them and feel good about how much they hated Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, BuzzFeed then exposed that Newsweek Media was infecting computers with malware, specifically designed to get your computer to bring more ad hits to Newsweek sites. If that wasn't bad enough, in early 2018, the Manhattan DA raided Newsweek headquarters. Now, in most organizations, if your organization, if your company is raided, you go, I should find another job. But at a journalist company, you go, I smell a soup. <laughs> Whereupon IBT Media fired three of their reporters for investigating IBT Media. <laughs> 
which led to half of the organization resigning in protest, which led to IBT Media rehiring people they had let go for cause, including people they had let go for sexual harassment claims, which led to another half of IBT Media resigning in protest. Eventually, IBT Media finally agreed to let those reporters back in and report on why they were being investigated by the DA, but by then the damage was done. Recently, the Newsweek executives have been hauled into court on money laundering charges. And that's why Newsweek no longer is one of the top ones. <laughs>